Hello, Mzansi. Sanam Gelagu di Jolibu Pilo on SABC2. The aim of our show is to help deal with food related issues so we can live healthier and happier lives. Every week, in memory, we will see the number of people who are going to be able to get the number of people who are going to be able to get the number about healthier and nutritious recipes for your favorite foods. We will also post a video on our Twitter page with a few questions. Hello, Dijo. Are there any healthy yet nutritious recipes for common favorite foods? Sister Hamba, so I will tell you to learn more about her before spending the number of people who are going to be My name is Tando Maseko and I am 26 years of age. Um, I'm from Midrand and I absolutely love hiking and movies. So I grew up enjoying dairy, like milk. I love it in my teas and my coffees. And I really enjoy Amasi. And yes, I do actually add sugar to my Amasi in my putu. So I was doing research and I found out that dairy is bad for human consumption. It robs our bones of calcium. And while the majority of people are lactose intolerant, um, and as a person that absolutely loves and enjoys dairy, um, I'd love to find a healthier alternative. So I'm trying to transition to a clean and healthier lifestyle. And I was wondering if Juju could help me find, you know, healthier alternatives for my dairy obsession. Um, as we are done, we are joined by a mental health specialist and wellness practitioner, Okutaso Matlala Pokonsi, who will be answering Imibuzo Ganolutando. Please join in on Twitter at Dijo Lebo Pilo, Nagu Facebook, Nagu Instagram, Dijo Lebo Pilo, or us email at Dijo Lebo Pilo at sabc.co.za. Siabuya Manj. Unga enda. Welcome back. Today we are talking about healthier and nutritious recipes that we can substitute for common non-nutritious foods. Mental health specialist and wellness practitioner Ojo Taso Matala Pokonzi will be answering Nolotando's questions. Let's find out more about her. Wow, what an incredible guest. Nyazu, you can't wait to meet her. Before she told her, we heard Nolutando saying she's trying to change the diet, here, but she's struggling to let go of her favorite foods. She has specific questions that she has posted on our Twitter page, and we will be answering these questions with our guest, Namslanji. Now you can have a say on this topic. Go Twitter at Dijo Lebo Pilo, na go Facebook, na go Instagram, Dijo Lebo Pilo, or go us email at Dijo Lebo Pilo at sabc.co.za. Hi. How are you? I'm great. We love having you here on Digital Liberty. I Club. love being here. I know whenever people are watching and when they see you, they're always going, when is she coming back again? Born. Shall we enter Nalutando's issue? Let's now, do that. A lot of people struggle with this. They've got favorite foods, but they cannot mm -hmm. let go of these foods that they love. Mm -hmm. And they want to know, are there healthier options? And will the healthier option be good? Absolutely. One of my life principles as one who lives health as well and advocates it is yeah. health should not be enjoyed, but enjoyed. Mm. Right? Mm. We don't persevere in health, we enjoy it. And I've made it my life task to mm. reproduce almost everything I like. So it's very important that we have a beautiful relationship with food. Yes. You know, as, as we eat, as we nourish ourselves, mm -hmm. at the same time, we are able to enjoy the nourishment. So absolutely, I agree with it. It should be taught. And I believe, yeah, possible. I believe on the pillow with you. You know, I think we should redefine cheat day. Because what yeah. people do, they will say, I ate, I was healthy for three days and then now I'm a cheat day. But why is that the reward? So maybe mm -hmm. let's flip calling it cheat day. Let's find a way to live generally in that way. Absolutely. And find a way to make the food tasty all the time. All the time. And you know, uh, even the cheat day thing, mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's, a, there's another little quote I live by that I created is, I err on the right side, right? to err, to do something a bit wrong, so to be a bit silly, okay. but on the right side. Okay. So for example, I, love, I used to love chocolate. 
You and stopped. When I, went, when I went plant-based, I was like, what the heck? I need chocolate. You stopped? I stopped, I stopped having chocolate altogether. And for a, lo for a long time, I wasn't having chocolate until one day I was like, how do they make chocolate? Yes. Oh, it needs milk. I have a milk alternative, it needs water. How do I, and it's oil, how do I emulsify, right? right. So, and to get that consistency, right. and I get my lovely raw cacao and whatnot, and I have a, an amazingly beautiful chocolate still without the compromise, but it still has a lot of fat. So I did air on the right side. I hear you. But the fat is not but like good the, fat. the bad fat, do you understand? Right. So I had a little bit more than I normally would on every other day, right. but you know, my, my body's not going to react to that in any adverse way. Nice. So we air on the right side, so I we like can that. have healthy cheat days. I love that. Okay, shall we enter her question? Please, let's, let's do so. But apparently it's not good for me. So it contains pus. And so I just want to ask Dijo, how can I make my own milk and I must be from the comfort of my own home so that I don't have to worry with the healing if I get in one? Hmm. She wants to know how she makes Amarsi. Is there a way to do that? Oh, there's absolutely a way to do that. Milk is one of the commonly used staples. Mm -hmm. uh, so I do believe that it is. it would be good to learn how to make that. We have a variety of bases that you can use to mm -hmm. make your milk. Mm -hmm. We've got soy, beans, the actual bean, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we can explain the process later. We have uh, almonds that mm -hmm. you can literally make milk from. Mm -hmm. We have rice that mm -hmm. you can use. We have oats that mm -hmm. you can use to make milk. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then we also have, you know, we can make amas from mm -hmm. tofu and I think the viewers will soon see our lovely tofu right. and when we actually make the recipes. But yeah, the, it is possible to remake your milk and your amasi. Thank you. Now that makes complete sense. Mm -hmm. But can we do a little bit of a demonstration? Absolutely. What do you need? Uh, almonds. Mm -hmm. I need water. Water. I need honey. So this is what, to flavor my milk? Honey is just to sweeten your milk slightly, you know, just to have a, and, and a bit of salt. So we're going to use salt and honey just to slightly sweeten it, because milk is not just tasteless like water, right? True. Okay, I think that's everything. Now that we have everything here, let me help you with the demonstration. Okay. Right. Okay, so we are making almond milk. Mm -hmm. I also need a bowl. Can I just have a mini clean oh, bowl? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to try and remember my measurements. Can you uh, open the blender for me? Yeah, go. And place it right here. We need about half, I'm going to use half a cup of almonds, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we're just gonna make an estimate. This is probably a full cup of almonds. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to use about half a cup. Can right? I can crush some of them maybe? Please. I'm then they'll be easier or they're going to make so much noise. Maybe just two crushes. Ready? Yeah. So maybe this works for now? That works. I okay. think that Because we can blend from here, right? Enough, yeah. So for every... Uh, let me just kind of remember my ratios. We put half mm -hmm. a cup of mm. uh, thing. We're going to put double the quantity of water okay. in the blender. So that means one cup for um, a half, right? For a half of almond nuts, mm. we're going to put one cup of water. Wow. Mm. Right? I think that's 250 mils, if you are wondering. You want to know. There Here we go. go. And then we are going to add just a taint of honey. Uh -huh. Just a bit. Just a bit. Right? Just a little bit. But you can custom it to your taste. You can custom it to your taste. And can I just have a teaspoon so we can add a pinch of salt? So would you not pinch it? Oh, let me just pinch it then. There we go. A pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to close our blender. And so this is making milk? We are making milk. We're making almond milk. You can use soybeans. You can use... Um, can I ask you before? Because you're... Okay, because, because you're... These be your, your nuts are nuts. Mm -hmm. already salted. Would you still add a pinch of salt? No. If they're really salted, you don't have to. Okay. But if they are not, like if they are raw, you don't have to. Okay. You, you, you actually can add uh, some salt in there. All right, so we can blend away. It's just sitting in pop. And that's it. And now, once you have this, Right? Mm -hmm. You are going to take a cheesecloth. Mm. And if you don't have a cheesecloth, uh, you can use a very tight sieve. Mm. 
And if you don't have a tight sieve, you can just use a very clean, um, any type of cloth, fatuku man. It okay, clean, it clean, so clean, clean. Fatuku. Yeah, but you don't use it for washing dishes. Okay. It's a purely fresh, clean, you've never used it before. Brand new, but... Brand new, okay. and you're only gonna use it to make your milk, okay. right? And then you're going to, to strain your, your milk to separate the fiber from the liquid. Okay. Then you literally have your almond milk. So now she wants this to be sour milk. In commas, mm -hmm. amasi. Mm -hmm. What do we do? May you please bring me some tofu. Mm -hmm. People have asked me, what is tofu? So tofu is basically a cut of soybean milk. So they made soybeans using this very same process, mm -hmm. right? And after making soybeans using this process, you put it in a pot, you boil it, you put a congelant. Uh, a congelant can be apple cider vinegar or... Um, What's this other sour thing? Any citrus, ah, like lemon juice like lemon or something juice. like that, okay. yes. And then it forms a card. Oh, that's what then, it is. Then you just take the cards and you have tofu. So with Amasi, we're going to need two blocks of tofu. Okay. Right? So I'm going to put my very lovely two blocks of tofu. And then we are going to need uh, any type of milk, whether soy milk or almond milk. May I please have some? Okay, you can have some soy milk. Soy milk. Soy milk and soya milk, is there a difference? Soy milk and soya milk is just soy milk and soy milk, it's the same thing. Soy and soya? Yeah. Okay. It's just the same. Mm -hmm. They come from the soya bean or the soybean. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to pour in, I need something... There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm good at this. You're very good at this. All right. Um, so for two blocks of tofu, you're probably going to need about half a cup of milk so that you can get that nice consistency that's thick. Mm -hmm. If you want it runny, you can add more. More milk, okay. All right. But I love that uh, curry-like thing yes, going yes. on, right? Yes, yes. Always divide. And then uh, what else are we going to need? We need lemon mm. juice. We need lemon freshly juice. squeezed lemon juice. So what we did here, we took our, you can see with the piss, we took our lemon and then we squeezed it and then we've got a bit of that. Yes. May I please have, uh, okay, if we don't have a spoon, you can use two, about two, uh, one tablespoon or two teaspoons. Okay, I'm, I'm not doing so good right now. But okay, but we're getting there. We and even the sourness. I know some people like it very creamy. Mm -hmm. And if I want it very creamy, I add some coconut cream to it. Oh, uh, yes. But if you like it very sour and thing, you can just add the lemon. Okay. According to how you like it. Uh -huh. Some other people like adding a bit of salt. Mm. Um, to give it flavor because it has no yeah. flavor whatsoever. It's just really clean. It's just a tint of Would salt. Would you add a bit right? of salt? I a like pinch? it with a tint of salt. Uh -huh. so I actually think it really tastes very nice with, with a, a tint of salt, salt right? Okay. And then uh, there's this other thing that's there called soy lecithin. May you just please pass it on for me? It's some yellowish ah, granules. Yes. I have this. I don't even know. I use ah. this for my for my oatmeal, but I don't know. But what do you call it? Is that what? Yes. It's so a this is soy lecithin. So my is soy lecithin, but I use it for my cereal. But I'm not sure what it actually is. I try to read the ingredients. I'm not sure what it is, in fact. So basically, soy lecithin is derived from um, soy. Mm -hmm. And we, you can also get sunflower lecithin as well that okay. comes from the sunflower. It's basically fat, right? Uh, and it's amazing for brain health. Like, literally, you can give this to your little bub. So, ifuta, this thing. Ifuta. So, I guess the definition of ifuta is, is not what we know. Okay, when I do yeah. this to it... Do you I see? see? It has, yeah, you see? It, has, it has a bit of... Okay. Ah, absolutely. So it's, okay. it's just uh, basically fats that are taken from... And it has that creamy thing mm. to it. When you but add also it taste, onto, really not taste. It's tasteless. Mm. Uh, and then when you put it onto your amasi uh, uh, recipe, it really makes it nice and creamy. Mm. Okay? okay? So may I please have a teaspoon Yes, you can quickly. have a teaspoon anytime. So here's a teaspoon. Thank you all oh so much. So we're just going to add uh, a quarter of a... Oh, so not a lot. A quarter... No, you don't need a lot. Mm -hmm. A quarter of a lot. Another nice thing about it, 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 con it, 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 it emulsifies. Mm. So it allows water and fat to mix wow. without separating. Okay. Yeah. Very awesome. Amazing. So we're going to close our blender. So how often do people make amasi with tofu? A uh, you can you can make um, as you need it, or you can make enough. But I mean, to is, it a, is it a popular thing? To, Not really. I was about to say. Not really. A lot okay. of people don't know that you can use soy to recreate this thing. Maybe just kind of. Are you ready? Get it going. Are you me. ready? I'm very ready. Okay. 
it is perfect. Dangerous. Ah. It's pretty thick. It's very thick. But that's the thickness I like. Wow. That is the thickness I like. This. Put your spoon we in need there. to show them. Look, look, at need, this. look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So if you want it runny, you can add more 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 liquid. But I just love it this I nice love it and like thick. this. And but I have it almost a yogurt mousse. Exactly. And and now with this, can I just pour out just a little bit? I'm not gonna take out everything, right? Wow. Okay, just so that you can try it as well. <gasps> I'm not doing this for this. It tastes like a masi. It. it tastes like a masi, though. Girl. It does because of the. We've got a masi. <laughs> no, because of the. I think it's that. Give me one. Soy lecithin. Soy lecithin and also the lemon in there and the. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it's nice and creamy. Wow. I know. Awesome. I'm shocked, actually. Wow. I know, right? Oh, gas, food ga tastes gasmic, like something <laughs> gasmic. Can we hear her next question? Mm -hmm. So since I follow with the healthy, I've really been enjoying having yogurt, either alone as a snack or with my muesli. However, I really struggle eating plain yogurt. So I'm just wondering, did you look is there any way I can make my yogurt fun and tasty yet still nutritional? So uh, we are basically going to add our fruit okay. uh, to make yogurt. Take so we time. are converting amasi to, to yogurt. yogurt. Mm. Yes, ma'am. So we're ma just going to add. It's up to you how much you want. Mm. We can just put as as Look much it. as we want. Look I'm going it. to take some pineapple. Yes. And um, I just Let's want to crush it a little bit. And I break it a bit. Look, yes, we yes. can break it. Getting our hands dirty, man. Right. 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 Do you want to add strawberry to it, or is it is it enough? And strawberry, please add it with the leaves. Do you like it color? Do you like it because of the color? No, do we need to... You see the strawberry? No, 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 listen, listen. We do not remove the leaves from no. strawberry. But um, Yours, I, I went tell to you. fetch a knife to remove the leaves, can't you? We don't remove never, it. Never, never, never. Okay, Raspberry right. leaves and strawberry leaves are amazing for uterine health. So we're going to add strawberry with the leaves, nicely washed and clean. Who are you? Girl. I am the I'm the girl of your dreams. Yes, You've you are. You've been waiting for me. Yes. I'm going to add a little bit of milk because we just added more, um, more fruit. Ingredients. But then fruit also does have liquid content, mm -hmm. so it will kind of help to ease it. I'm going uh, to add sweetener this time. You wanted to say something. Well, we could, I was thinking instead of sweetener, you were going to add honey. No, I was going to use dates. Power I was about food. to say we can do dates, and these are seedless dates. And these are yeah, they're basically deep pitted dates. We remove the the stuff inside mm -hmm. that hard kennel inside, so and then good. we just them. And they are amazing. It's like too. a chocolate slab. You want iron? Mm -hmm. You have it here. Mm -hmm. Amazing in pregnancy as well. Folic acid mm -hmm. and and iron. You you are good. Can I have too much dates? Yes, you can have too much dates. <laughs> <laughs> Are you putting you too can. much date? Um, maybe I am. I really like sweet. I also do. Sweet stuff. Okay. Um, but this is ours. She she can put less if she, can she's less, averse to, less, to, to far sugar. Far less, no food. Look, but we are sweet we like are this. Sweet people. Oh, I love the fact that you've got a sweet tooth, but a healthy sweet tooth. A healthy sweet tooth. I love tooth, that about right? you. We eat healthily. I need you to do this for me. I'm it doing terrifies me when it no, goes. I can it, no, because it it's needs, a, it needs. It needs. Ah. Aha. Mm. There we go. Here we go! See, I told you, it needs strength. Perfect. Come on, look at this coloring! And look, I actually like this. I okay. like this. This, the, the I like this little two, you know, oh, thing going this on. Thing. We're not into stylish. Nice. Born, I'm oh, born. I'm I like nice things. things. Okay. So if you want, you can actually cook your fruit first. Oh, right. Uh, you can cook your fruit separately with honey, mm. and then it becomes nice and mushy. Please and you add it onto the raw one. Please right? do your, your We're going to thing. use this teaspoon of ours. We mm. use it for our amasi, so mm. we are not wasting I anything. Want them to see. And now we have yogurt. I don't believe right? it. Dairy free. We've got dairy free yogurt. Listen. Wow. I'm gonna try it ahead of you. Of course you are. I would have it sweeter and creamier. But I really like I'd it. I have a sweeter. I understand why you would add that. But it's really good. Uh, it really is. Wow. So there, we have amasi, yogurt, and milk. Thank you so much for sharing everything you have with us. We really appreciate it. 
myself, DJ South Africa, and the world. Yo, Mundo, I'm in a very cold chill of fun. Dilation in Nation, I'm slanch. Who shocked in it? Nagbonu, te. Was on Twitter at DJ Libu Pillo, or on Facebook at DJ Libu Pillo, over on Instagram, it's Tom Besaka Ute. DJ Libu Pillo, or over on email, DJ Libu Pillo at sabc.co.za. The interview is being posted online for Ronolu Tando to view and take our notes. Now you can log on and watch us again on our SABC Education YouTube channel. Nyampela Sira! Almost be a dollar, we travel back to Nolo Tendo to hear what she has learned from Okutato. Stay tuned, Siabuya Manj. Welcome back, Usasa Nam Lagu DJ Libupilo on SABC2. When we met Tuna Lutano earlier on, like show in the Befunu Guti, are the healthy and nutritious recipes for common foods that she enjoys. She has seen her conversations with Ukhotato online. Let's touch base with Nolutando to find out what she has picked up from Ngoye to today. What an informative show. After watching DJ Liverpooler, I now realize that I'm not actually replacing my common favorite foods with healthier options. I'm just correcting my diet with foods that are beneficial for my body. So I learned that strawberry leaves not only help with menstrual pains, but they also help promote uterine health. I've learned that tofu is a great source of protein and has the nine essential amino acids. I learned that dates are a great source of natural sugar, iron, and folic acids. I was really impressed with how easy to make the recipes are. I can't wait to try them with my family. Thank you, DJ Liverpool. What an educational and informative show. I'm confident that it won't only help me, but a lot of other people. Awe pela ganje ni show etuke na msanje. Kota masinga kali kakulu. Ngobani azgu di show ya kubega online. Aung ponze nge tweet uti at DJ Lebu Pilo. Orung face ngu Facebook DJ Lebu Pilo na gu Instagram. Orung email uti DJ Lebu Pilo at sabc.co.za. Bagiti ni nga kota gu le show le heyenu. Mene nkulege ni sbuza zonge wange malana no guta. Ngobanga panze kumbuzo wako kiriboni nawe silo. Nawe auti ake lapo George. Auto lolo i DJ Lebu Pilo. So please, smooth any bo via social media, via email, fagite ku ya posi ni wasban. Mkan bumbuzo waka will be chosen as the question of the day for next week's show. Oh, maslaga ne la kwa SABC2 for more DJ Libu Pilo, same place, same time. Mzobingla, meso. Uzobukon. Bye bye.